My assistant says, oh my gosh, Michelle Obama's team just asked for your phone number. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's what I said. I said, well, give it to her. <laughs> my first guest is a Grammy nominee and a legendary radio host who is in the Radio Hall of Fame. Now, her podcast, In Real Life with Angie Martinez, was just nominated for an NAACP Image Award. Take a look at her newest episode with singer Jay Balvin. What do you think your purpose is while you're here? Yeah, my purpose is to inspire the people to believe in themselves, mm -hmm. even though sometimes you think you don't believe in yourself. Mm -hmm. you do you know? still have doubts about yourself? Yeah, sometimes I doubt myself. Sometimes it happens, mm -hmm. at least to me, mm -hmm. you know? But then I recover again. You know, I'm like the phoenix, you know, like, Record from the ashes, you know, like, let's do it again. If I did it once, I'd do it twice. Please welcome Angie Martinez. Sherry. You look good, though. No, no, I, my flight got, you know, our flights got in, I know the in flight, California. Your flight got canceled. We didn't know if you were going to be able to make it. Y'all, I've been asleep two hours, and, and my clothes didn't come, uh, so. But you look fly. I stole, I stole. <laughs> you look fly. I stole this jacket from my dear friend DeAndre backstage. You did? It, well, it looks good, girl. Is it giving, I, is it giving? Is it giving daytime talk it's, show? It's giving fabulous, <laughs> girl, as you are. I'm, I'm, you know, I told you, I said, I'm so excited you're here. We saw each other at the NAACP. I NAAC love you. you I love that. you so much. Like, Even though started. you beat me at the NAACP. <laughs> I still love you. I didn't know we were in the same category. Because it was so funny, because Angie was like, yeah, because, you know, my podcast, we got nominated. And I was like, and you will win. <laughs> I didn't know we was in the same category. But do you, what speech would you have made? Oh, I would have thanked my kindergarten teacher, and I would have went all through my whole life. No, I would have thanked everybody who works hard. Brittany, my show producer, she's in the grind every day with me. You know, we love this. It's really a passion project. It's really something yes. we care about. I would have thanked Ashley, who helps with digital, iHeart, Rock Nation, my whole team. <laughs> Should I keep going, or that's enough for today? <laughs> I'll save it for when one day I win one. Well, this is, I love your podcast in Thank real you, life, and love. so many people do. Because you should come on one I time. Will, I would love okay, to. OK, good. I, because you go deep. You, like, you, you, you ask yeah. people questions, and they like, wait a minute. I, OK, you go deep with it. And we love you so much, Thank so we don't you. mind you going deep with it. But what do you love most about doing your podcast? Yeah, it's that. It's conversations. So Sherry and I saw each other in the hotel after the uh, yeah, awards. Yeah, we talked for standard. hours. And we yes. talking about life and the yes. things we really care about. And now I get to do that, those same type of conversations on there. And so you showed this clip of Jay Balvin. He does, the, and I learn something from every episode. Yeah. That's my goal. Like, every episode, something we could take away and use in our real life. That's, like, the theme mm -hmm. of it, right? So in that episode with Jay Balvin, he talks about how he checks in with his team. He does this thing where he asks everybody, his team, how happy are you on a scale of 1 to 10? Mm. Instead of just saying to your friends or family, hey, how are you? Because then what do we say? We say, oh, I'm OK, I'm fine. Yeah. But not everybody's OK and fine. So when you ask somebody, hey, how happy are you on a scale of 1 to 10, mm. it's like a real check-in. Yeah. Because if somebody you love tells you you're at a 3, you know, you, you, you can ask other questions. Right. So that was one of the takeaways I took from the Balvin episode, and I stole that from him. And in another episode, I asked Taraji P. Henson. I, yes. I said, Taraji, on a scale of 1 to 10, how happy are you? And I'm just doing it as an exercise. And she took a breath and she said, you know, Angie, I'm, I'm not really happy right now. I remember. And it, it just opened up this, like, beautiful moment for her to be honest and about, like, the changes she was making in her life to try yeah. to... You know what I mean? So every episode does something like that for me. Absolutely. And I yeah. can feel it when you're doing it. You see, even when I talk about it, I can get like you get emotional. I get it because it's real. Because it's real. Like that's what we listen. We do what we love, right? But the best yeah. part of when we do is when we do something that like touches people. Absolutely. That that matters. You connect to us. To the heart. Yeah, that's like the best part of it. So, so did you know at 16 years old when you were answering phones that you were gonna like at a radio station you were gonna be connecting? 
you are in the Radio Hall of Fame and yes. you are answering phones yes. at a radio station. Yes. <laughs> like, going back, when they say you started from the bottom, now you're here, how amazing yeah. is this? I'll tell you what this is. This is a testament, because I was 16 and doing radio because I love hip hop, I love music. I was just happy to have like a job and a, yeah. be in the mid. Like, I just was happy. I love the culture and I didn't do it for any, I didn't even know I would have a long career. But it is a testament to the idea of if you just keep going. Yes. Even if you don't get, oh, hi, sussy. Hi, sus one. <laughs> <laughs> even if you just, you know, even if it doesn't go at, we talked about this, yes. like trusting the process and going with the flow. So, you know, I've had a lot of ups and downs. Not everything you has have. gone how I wanted it to go. But if you just keep going, one day you wake up and you have history. That's right. And one day you have, you know, a whole bunch of things you're proud of. So that's kind of how it felt with the Hall of Fame. I was like, wow, I, I'm still here. I did all of that. Like, you know what I mean? So you it's, just got to keep going. Angie, you talk about doing this and one day you have history. But you, I, I, I remember looking at you and I said, you are moderating a panel with a former first lady, Michelle Obama. Oh, my Obama. gosh. Did you like, you, you moderated. <laughs> like, not even history. You actually sat there and uh, did she give you her phone number? Who told you that? Uh, girl, I got it. Who told I've you? I've been trying to get her phone number for years. Do I have time? Can I tell them the story? Yes, real quick? you can tell the story. So they call me and they say Michelle Obama's doing her book tour. She wants to do this panel. And I'm like, oh, God. With you? And yes. they want you to moderate it. So, you know, first I faint and then I get myself back up. <laughs> and then, um, you know, Michelle, um, you've met her. Y uh, Michelle. Yeah, one time, yeah. I, I was calling her Miss Obama. <laughs> but you, so you know, I was calling her Miss Obama and she was like, call me Michelle. So now I always say, you know, Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> but when she walks in a room, she literally shifts the energy. Yes. Like yeah. everybody's happy, everybody's giddy. I'm in a room with other superstars. I'm with Kelly Rowland, Tina Knowles, you know, when uh, her. Winnie was Harlow a, was Winnie there. Winnie Harlow. Yeah. It was a great a panel. All of us were giddy when she left. Yes. We were all giddy. I got on the plane. Kelly Rowland was on the same flight as me. I got a number. My, my assistant says, oh my gosh, Michelle Obama's team just asked for your phone number. <laughs> right? Yeah. That's what I said. I said, well, give it to her. <laughs> And then I got a message from somebody on her team that was so beautiful. They were like, this, uh, Michelle wanted me to send this to you. It was a, a note that Michelle wrote to say thank you. And she loved the panel. She loved us and blah, 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 blah. And I was like, oh, that's so beautiful. And then two seconds later, another message. And Michelle wants you to have her number in case you ever need to get So did, I want to know. If you got Michelle Obama's number in your phone, you don't just leave it there. Have you called her? Just to say, hey? What? So first of all, it took me about a day to like put a name, a title on it. It was just sitting in the text messages. I was afraid to save it because I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> then I saved it. Well, then I was on the plane with Kelly Rowland and Kelly comes from, the, from her seat, runs over to my seat. She was like, did you get a message from Michelle Obama? <laughs> I was like, I did, I got it too. You get the number, she got, got the number. When do, so we had this whole conversation about when we should text. I have yet to text. You I would only. No, because what am I going to say? Call and do like, do like I did with Oprah. I called Oprah up, and I was like, Oprah, what you doing? And she was like, well, what are you doing? I said, I'm doing my laundry. Just call her. No, I'm not I'm not doing that. I won't do that. It's bad advice, Sherry. It's bad ask, advice. Like, ask her, ask Michelle Obama if she want to go walking or something. Or, like, we was talking all night. You I don't want to be the, the, I don't want to be the creepy. She, I don't, I don't want to be freaky about it. Well, you. I am, I'm the creepy one. I always creepy. I, I, I'm going to save it for the day where I have something magnificent to offer her or to share with her. To it has to be something for her. I can't get it for me. I, you call her uh, go, hey girl, what's up? I'm going to call her. All right. And call I'm going to call her and say, can you, can you believe Sherry, um, call her on the three way. Let me just listen. You know how you doing with your girlfriend? Do that, and then, and then I'll send you a text and go, ask it is, ask and that. <laughs> and then she's gonna block me. Yeah, do the ask if, if, if Barack got a friend. He can, he... <laughs> Girl, we done ran out of daggone time. You gotta come back. You have... We're out of time, yes. that's it? This is what happened when girlfriends have fun together. I this love you. Happened. Congratulations on your award. You, you 100% deserve it. <laughs> Girl, when I say this, Angie Martinez, I love you more than just the moon and the stars and everybody else does. She got so much to say. Angie's coming back. We're gonna I'm coming Angie back. back. In our own clothes. In our own clothes. I'm gonna come in my own clothes.
knows? <laughs> Listen to Angie's <laughs> podcast in real life with Angie Martinez wherever you stream your podcast.